The Barbie movie is coming out soon and I don't know about you, but as a 90s kid that play with Barbies all the time, I'm super excited. The movie seems to be everything you would expect and more. So of course we had to do a color grading tutorial about the first live action movie about this beautiful doll. So come on Barbie, let's go party! Whoa, whoa. This is Alex from Massive, the fastest and safest way to deliver large media files online. Sign up for a free trial with Massive to send your big files anywhere you want for coloring, editing, VFX, and more. The link is in the description box below for you. All right, let's talk about the Barbie movie. The style and look of the film is what you would expect. Bright, saturated colors, lots of neons, hot pinks, fluorescent fuchsias, and of course, the Barbie pink. Basically, a lot of pink. It has a warmish light-up scenes with normal contrast. To replicate this look in Adobe Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve is super easy. But just keep in mind that your footage has to have, well, lots of pink, or at least something pink in there, so you can fully resemble the style. Let's get into color grading and the Barbie look. I have here this screenshot I took from the movie trailer, and over here this clip we're going to color grade. Remember to color correct your footage first so you can start color grading from a neutral point. Let's go to Window, Workspaces, Color. I have Lumetri on the right so we can color grade, and on the window on the left we have our Lumetri scopes so we can see the clip's colors and lighting info. This will guide us better. The 100 up here represents the pure white and the zero pure black. When you have high peaks in the spectrum, you have a really high contrast. This image is in a good high contrast, with most of the peaks reaching around 90 and 10. Notice that a lot of the info is more on the middle top, so the scene is more on the brighter side. Notice as well the distribution and position of reds, blues, and greens in the spectrum. All right, let's start doing stuff. If we want to let Premiere automatically color grade our clip to match the screenshot, let's go to the color wheels and match tab. Click on the Comparison View button to see both, the screenshot and the clip. Look here in the Lumetri scopes now, it's showing the color and lighting info both as well. Just click on Apply Match and there you go! The tool still needs some help, so just go into these color wheels and adjust if necessary. If the lighting is the problem, open the Basic Correction tab to modify the exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, etc. Or you can go to the Curves tab and adjust the same parameters from there. The top right point represents the white's highlights, and the bottom point represents the black's shadows. And of course, the middle represents the midtones. If you want more contrast, just create two points in the line and make an S curve. Okay, now let's match the color grade manually. This clip I have here, it's too light, so I am going to lower the highlights and I'm going to lower the shadows as well. Yeah, that looks better already. Down in the Creative tab, I'm going to add more vibrance and saturation, so we can deepen and highlight the colors more. If the light changes too much, just go back and adjust it in the Basic Correction tab or from the Curves tab. Perfect! If you need more warm tones, go to the Color Wheels tab. For my clip, I'll go more towards the magenta in the shadows and yellow in the midtones and highlights. Check your scopes always to see where the colors are and compare both clips. I think it looks good, but I still want the blue and pink to pop more. Let's go to the Curves tab. We're going to use the Hue Saturation Curves. In the first one, Hue versus Saturation, we're going to grab the dropper up here and select the blue of the pool. This will create some points in this line, right at the specific color tone that I selected. If I raise it up, the saturation of this color will increase. If I put it down, the color will look more desaturated. Let's do the same with the pink to increase the saturation. Perfect, there you go. If we go down here, there are other options you can experiment with. Hue versus Hue lets you change one color for another. In Hue versus Luma, you can select the light intensity of a specific color. Actually, let's use that for the blue as well. Yeah, that looks good, much better. You also have Luma versus Saturation and Saturation versus Saturation that may help you fine tune the color grading. The left side of the graph is for the darker colors and the right side is for the lighter colors. That's it, there you go. Now let's try this in DaVinci Resolve. We're now in DaVinci in the color tab right here. I have my scopes on the right so we can keep an eye on them while grading. The primary color wheel window on the left where we do our color grading and on top the thumbnails of the screenshot and clip that are on the same timeline. 
If you don't see these thumbnails, toggle the Clips tab here in the top right. Let's do a quick color auto match. Select the first clip that you want to match to. Then press Ctrl and select the screenshot of the look you want. In this case, the Barbie one. Select in this menu, Shot Match to this clip, and there it is. If you want to compare shots, you can go to the split screen mode right here. Then select in the drop down menu, Neighbor Clips. Or you can use the image wipe mode, but you have to do a still of the Barbie screenshot first. Select it, right click on the viewer window, grab still. You can find it in the gallery tab on the top left. Now select the clip we are color grading and click on the image wipe mode. There you can view both at the same time and compare them. And of course, there are other modes here you can use to see both images, but that depends on what you prefer. Okay, so if it's not quite right yet, the colors and lighting after the auto match, you can adjust the colors from here in the primaries or the curves windows. Now let's do it manually. Here in the primaries, we have lift, gamma and gain. That will be to adjust blacks, shadows, mid-tones, and whites highlights respectively. With these little wheels, let's lower the gain and lift. And also adjust a bit the gamma. Perfect. I'm going to increase the color boost and the saturation as well. Let's adjust a bit more the gain there. Again, if we need more warm tones, we're going to adjust the colors in these color wheels. I need magenta in the shadows and yellow in the mid-tones and highlights. You can also use the curves graph here. It works the same as in Premiere. Whites highlights top point and black shadows bottom point. We also have here the hue saturation curves graphs that we had in Premiere, so we can work on specific colors. I'm going to work on a new note for this part. We're going to make these blue and pink colors pop more. Here in the third icon is hue versus saturation. You can add points and increase or decrease the saturation of a specific color. The water is still too bright, so we are going to go to the next icon here, Hue versus Lumen. Select the dropper qualifier from the bottom left of the viewer window, and I'm going to select the blue. Now I have the points in the timeline, so we will just lower it to reduce the brightness. Check the next modes from the curves window. They let you manipulate the intensity and brightness of specific colors in your footage super nicely. Again, the left side is for the darker tones and right side for the lighter tones. Sweet, there you go. And that's how you replicate the look of Barbie Land for your next project. Remember, anytime that you need to share big videos, use Massive to transfer media files for reviews or final deliveries to anyone anywhere in the world, especially if you're a colorist. You and I both know how big those log files can be. So don't stress out and send all your files in their highest resolution with Massive. Signing up for a free trial just takes a few minutes and you can immediately transfer any large file you want with your collaborators. Remember, the link is in the description box below for you. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you find this video helpful, or if you learned something new today, or if you still have Barbies in your possession, please help us with that thumbs up and subscribing to the channel so we can keep bringing you these filmmaking tutorials. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions and what do you think about the Barbie trailer or the Barbie movie when it comes out. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.